Hello everyone and welcome to another VB tutorial. Today I think we're going to actually make a database and maybe uh, a couple of tables on it as well. And we'll use those tables later for the next thing we'll make. So first of all, there are two things to making a database. There are the actual database and then there's a program which the database is going to be using. So what we're going to do first is make the database. So we're going to make it. We're going to make a um, database for. Um, what should we make it for? Let's uh, make it for maybe I don't know. Let's make it for a uh, basic. Let's make it for a, a last name, um, a last name, and a first name database. So we can make press OK, and first things we'll do. This is completely different. We don't even use the form or anything. We go to the project, add a new item. You want to scroll down to a service-based database. Then you want to add it, and then should, if correct, load. I think it's taking a bit longer to load. There you go. Did something there. It's definitely doing something. But basically, what this allows us to do here we go, press next, and it should finalize the database a bit. So, I'm also going to show you how to import databases as well. So, you're going to finish off here. And here we go. So we have our database. Now, what you want to do is make a um, find database explorer. It's maybe under your uh, view tab. So you want to go to view, other windows, and database explorer there. Or just press Control Shift. So in your database explorer, you'll have um, what do we name it? We named it database one so, I'm not sure which one that is. No, it's not that one. No, it's this one, right? right. So, we've got our database one to MDF. Once you click on this, you right click on the tables and add a new table. There are all sorts of other things here, but we'll be doing them later. Then, this lovely um, GUI comes up. The columns are, it's not the table itself, it's actually the um, columns for it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use last name, press enter, and then put first name. Press enter again. So, what we're first of all going to do is set our primary key. I'm actually going to move the first name up to the top there. So, primary keys allow you to make sure the main, the main thing and it's a set to this uh, column basically first. Always put this column first. So, we'll set that to the primary key. You can't have a null in primary key either. So, that, uh, nulls allow us whether we can leave the field empty and still say yes, basically. So, we're going to leave. Not uh, sure we'll leave, uh, we have to have a last name basically in this table. But let's uh, make sure you have to have a last name and first name in this table. So what we have here are different data types. There are quite a few different data types to go through. I think we'll go from the top ones, which I actually know myself. NCHARs are basically numbers and characters together. They, the number is the limit, so I can only put 10 numbers and characters. So what I'm going to put is 50 for the first name and 50 for the uh, last name as well, just in case people have really long names. So let's go for the top of A big integer is, of course, an integer which is uh, quite large. You can adjust them yourselves. Then we have binary 01100. You get uh, we have the chart, which is just characters. We have the date, we have the date and the time. Uh, we have some decimals. We have uh, integers, uh, money, which is done in dollar signs and pound signs. We have the NCR, numeric, which is numbers, uh, small money, stuff like that, text, all sorts of different things like bar charts and stuff. Now, what we're going to do, we've actually already done our table pretty much because we didn't want to put anything else on it. Maybe we should just shove, I don't know, let's uh, shove this shove of the, the date of birth. On as well, so we've got day of birth on, and we'll put the date on. Let's we'll leave it as a null, so we can actually uh, leave it as empty. All right, from here we don't run this by the way at all. From here you want to press save all. It'll save it as dbl. And then we have to name the table. So let's name it tbl. Uh, L name f name. Now let's press enter. So it made the temple there. 
table there. Now we can't edit those columns ever again now, so make sure you always do you finish doing that. Now we want to right click on those column uh, table, sorry, and put show table data. Just so let's we're gonna put some data in quickly. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put our first name in. So let's I don't know. Let's put um uh let's put Bob, and then let's put Dylan. So and now because I've allowed Nold in the last one, it's allowing me to not put anything in there. So what we're gonna do is put a date of birth. So we have to put decimals like so, twenty the the eight seventh. Uh, the seventh of the sit sorry of the uh, ninety nine or something like that, and it automatically correct itself. So we'll just put um, let's put Tom. Uh, uh, let's put Tom Gr George as his last name, and we'll just leave it like that. Then we want to save our data and close them. Um, actually, let's bring up a new project. In this new project, we're going to name it uh, Table Viewer. Now, our table viewers are pretty damn easy. What we have to do first is go to Data to link the table. We have to go to Data, add a new data source, press Next, add a new data set, Next, and then you want to go to New Connection. We're going to change this to an SQL Server database. Press OK. Then you want to browse for it. Now mine's going to be my documents of my, um, uh, it'll be in my Visual Studio 2010 to the projects and it'll be in DBL name and it'll be there. So we're going to link that, we'll test the connection and the test has succeeded. If you have anything wrong, then you've done something wrong, you probably made a, a local database or something, then you want to press next. It'll come up this way if you want to do this, you don't want to do this, so otherwise you can't actually access the data while um, looking at it. Then we'll leave it as that. Then it will say, well, what do you want to bring with it? Well, let's bring the tables because that's the only thing we have. And now it's been imported. Now this is our tables in here. And we have lots of different things like here. Now, if you go to here, you have the deep data grid view, the details view, and none. Now, what we want is the details view. Now we're going to go to our main form, expand it a bit because it's a fairly large object. You want to go to the name, let's call it FRM, FRM uh, main, and let's put the text to the uh, table viewer. Alright, so we have that. Now, what you want to do to get it on the form is just drag it. Drag it is fairly simple. Let's pull it on like that. And now you have some random text boxes and tons of different objects appear. Now, First of all, I advise saving your table viewer so you don't get any lost track time or anything. And now oh, we test it quickly. So you want to run your program. See, I haven't, I haven't really done it. But you can see here our actual data is carrying over from before. Of course, it's saying they have the same date of birth, but this one doesn't have any date of birth actually. It's only because this one loaded first. Now, now to talk about the toolbar here. We have tons of different buttons on our toolbar. Include the first, uh, back, forward, and last buttons, and of course that you know those buttons are just name naming pretty much. It's kind of useless. Um, we have the save button, the delete button, the new button as well. Now, what we're gonna do is very firstly let's resize everything. But first of all, let's run it again. Now from here you've got everything set up. Now to basically add a new tail you press add, and add new. You can uh, make a new first name so let's call it Bob um, Dylan. Let's call him uh, Bob June. Let's call him Bob June. And he was born, he was born a month later because he's his brother. Um, and then we want to save. Now the data I should have saved. Now what, now if I close down the program and run it again. The date here is saved. There you go. Tom George. Oh no, wait. Um, it's order also also orders it in um, alphabetical. So it's Bob June and Bob Dylan. Now let's get rid of. Say Bob Dylan died. So let's delete him off of our records. And now he's not here no more. So if we close down the program, he should no longer be there. But actually, you have to save first. So let's delete him again. 
press save, and then close the program down. And he's gone from his system. So that's just built Bob June. That's pretty basic how to make a table viewer. I think next time we'll have a look at how to make a search form and actually how to make these buttons actual buttons for the toolbox instead of just sitting up here when they're kind of ugly and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys next time. If you found this helpful or interesting at all, um, please remember to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.